is time for my Birchbox review. Here is my Birchbox in the usual cardboard box with the pink writing. This is for October. I've had it for almost a week now and I've been able to try out all of the products. I believe I've tried out every product in here. But I am ready to let you know about it. I am a little disappointed by this month's Birch Box. Not as disappointed as I was with the last two, but I just feel like a lot of the products are just leftovers. Um, nothing I've gotten before, but I feel like I've seen some of these products in other people's videos. And the brands are just, I have definitely gotten some of these brands in my Birch Boxes, but all in all, it's I did like most of the products. There's a couple, I guess. Um, but let's just get started. I don't want my camera to die because it might, and my dogs decided to chew the cord. So I will be going and finding something to charge my camera after this video, maybe later tonight, because it, once it dies, no more video making because I can't charge the uh, the camera. So. We'll find out about that pretty soon. So let's just jump right in so this doesn't die. Where is my card? There's my card. Here's my card. It says prep and finish for October. Um, and I was kind of excited about what it says on the front. It says fall is the time to get back to business and look good doing it. And it's just got products that are supposed to help you be ready. Like your skin, body, and hair. So I thought it was going to be a great box. And it's not too bad. Um... Lots of products that I actually was kind of excited about trying. There's actually only one that I, even before I tried it, I was like, what? But I'll save that for the end. So, let's start with this foot cream, this mineral foot cream by Ahaba. And I have an Ahaba hand cream that I got in a birch box before. Um, but this is a pretty good size. I think I figured out it's almost, it's like a little over one third of the full size. So it's like five dollars worth of product. So that's pretty good. I like to try to figure out how much this would be worth, like compared to the full size price, because a full 3.4 ounces of this is $19. But it smells good. It smells just clean, really. I mean, it doesn't have like a good, good smell, I guess. But I mean, it's not horrible. And it's just, you know, white consistency. Um, I know that's for your feet, but. I'm not about to lift my foot up here. It just smells very clean. I did like it. I've only tried it once, um, but I do like it. Next is another brand that I've gotten before in a birch box, and it's a facial scrub. And I've got it was a face wash, is what I got last time by Pangea Organics. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But from my video about companies that don't test in animals, they do not. They're an organic company, as it is in the name. But this is a good size sample too. One ounce and if you wanted four ounces, it's $32. So this is like $8 worth of product right here. Um, and it does, oh my gosh, it smells like a Cosmetic Warrior from Lush. It's a face mask. Um, one of their uh, natural, what's the word I'm looking for? Fresh face masks. The one you have to keep in the refrigerator. And it was the one I got in my last Lush haul video. Um, it's all gone now because they expire pretty quickly. I think they only last like two. I usually go up to three weeks though to use it all up. It smells just like that. And that um, Cosmetic Warrior had honey in it. But this says Adzuka, Adzuki bean and cranberry, but it smells just like it. That was just so amazing to me. And it actually works really nice. It's like a dark brown color. But it's a scrub, and I've mentioned before I like scrubs because I feel like they really clean my pores out. So I actually liked both those products. And then I got this little sample. Um, I'm not even going to try to say that brand. Yeah, I'm not going to try because I'm going to mess it up. But it's a climate control heat and humidity gel. I've tried it already. That's why the top is gone. Um, it's like a clear product. I don't know why. You can't even see it. I kind of just assumed it would be more like have a white color I guess because I think most of my other hair gels are I don't know it was just weird when I in the consistency it's really sticky but I tried it today um and I tried it one other day well now my hair's I don't know if I would repurchase this let's see how much is it sixteen dollars for six ounces that's actually not that bad because six ounces is a pretty big size but 
I'm not sure that I'm going to repurchase this. I have, I've been trying it. I've been curling my hair recently. I think in my last video I had my hair curled too. Um, these are more relaxed because uh, I did it earlier this morning and they're just, they kind of have been relaxing. But they're not frizzy. I, I mean, I would say this did a pretty good job. Um, I just have some other products that work better. It says it controls frizz in all climates. So that is one other product I got. And then the last two, this one I was excited about. The Blink Mascara that's supposed to be like a tube mascara. It comes in this other little tube. Um, and I got the color black, which is great because I love black. And this is what the brush looks like. And... I had heard about tube mascaras, I've never tried them, and I thought it was just like an amazing concept. I was like, there's really going to be tubes in your hands when you wash it off, and it's waterproof and it is a little bit hard to get off. But it flakes throughout the day, I didn't see the tubes, it just flaked off, or, or rubbed off when I finally got it off with quite a bit of water and soap, and my even my facial wash or my uh, makeup remover didn't do a great job of getting it off. So it is pretty waterproof, but I didn't see the tube thing. Um, I don't know. I have it on today, if you can see. It does separate them, but it almost makes your lashes look even skinnier. It doesn't give you that full look. It makes them very stringy. I wasn't, I don't know what I was, I think I hyped myself up about it. Tubes on your eyelashes. I think I was just imagining like, Black I don't know what I was imagining, but it's I'm not going to repurchase this. And I've heard a lot of people say that they weren't really a big fan of it either. So I don't think I'm the only one in that boat. I am glad that I got to try it, though. I, I am definitely glad because I wouldn't have known until I got to try it. So that was in my box. And I think that's one of the ones that I saw some people had last month. So I feel like that I just got leftovers. But I don't know. I'm glad I got to try it. And then this is the last product. And honestly, I don't, I don't, my voice is kind of messed up today, so if I sound squeaky again, sorry. I don't know what the person who invented this was thinking. It just seems ridiculous to me. I even thought it before I tried it. And then I tried it anyway. I had to try it, I mean, just to let you know. And it's definitely ridiculous. It's called a lash card, and it's as seen in Glamour magazine, so I don't know. Maybe uh, you they like it. Someone said it makes your mascara go on perfectly. In quotes. Someone in Glamour. I, personally, I don't... If you cannot put mascara on, uh, I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't be wearing it. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but it's not that hard. And even if you did smudge, which happens, you can just use a wet Q-tip or your makeup remover. It's nothing that extreme. You know, just, you don't need to use this little plastic card. It, it doesn't even work that great. I got, I got more mascara on the card than I got on my eyes. And then I got it on my nose. Like, the way I had to hold my wand to get it on, I was hitting my nose. It was a, a hot mess, as I like to say. Um, they have, like, a large curve on one end and a smaller curve on the other. And it comes with two. This is wrapped in plastic, so I don't think I'll ever need to open that, though, because I really... I'm not liking it. Um, and, some, and the big curve is way too big. And I only really, like, you put it under your eyelashes like this. Well, you can't see it because I messed up. I got quite a bit on the card. And then you just brush them, but you're going to waste a lot of your mascara. Um, it's going to get on your nose. So, I don't know. I tried to use it on my top lash, and it just didn't work out. Like, let me just do a real quick example, even though I don't want my battery to die. But I just want you to see how ridiculous this is. So you, like, hold it under, and then you have to, like, I don't know, put it on, I guess? But I'm, look, I'm just going to hit my nose, and I did hit my nose, and just put your mascara on like you normally do, and if you get a smudge wipe it off. This lash card is just craziness. It's just craziness. Honestly. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even, I just don't even know. I'm speechless at that one. But, I mean, I guess someone wanted to try it out. Maybe it works for some people, but mm -mm, I didn't like that one. <laughs> so, anyways, that's my October Birch Box. Um, that, I'm just going to wrap it up. I will see you all soon in my next video. I have a bunch planned for this the rest of this week. I have so many ideas. You're going to see a bunch of stuff, and I'm really excited about making them all. So, I will see you all later. Bye, guys.